I go out, I have food, I come back, there is no food. She'll steal my dinner. Oh, she ate my dinner! I probably have to buy bread every day because she's normally stolen half a loaf and it's slobbered on. Hattie has destroyed so many bins, Louise doesn't even bother with them anymore. If I don't remember to put it up high, she, it will be shredded. If I remember to put it up, but I don't push it far enough back, she can hook it. And the contents will be strewn all across the living room. It's just like, oh, Hattie, it's, it's, I just despair of it all. And Hattie's weird and wonderful diet causes one unpleasant side effect. <laughs> she farts! <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, the kids find it highly amusing. We all have to exit the room. <laughs> and when it comes to working off all that gobbled garbage, walkies aren't really Hattie's thing. No, she'd rather hurry back to her favourite spot. The sofa. This is what a beagle should look like. So what will Victoria make of this canine couch potato? Oh, my goodness. Has he? <gasps> oh, she's huge. Oh, my. She looks she like it? she's going to have puppies. Is she a scrounger? Yeah, she's a typical beagle. She steals. Okay. That's her biggest problem. This is like an old man's beer belly. It's huge. And don't look at me like that. Mark, the vet, has come along to give Hattie a health check, starting with her heart. I can barely hear it beating through the layers of fat covering her chest. And she gives him a welcome present. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she fart so much? Hattie's problem is, is she's fed so many different things, the bacteria are constantly changing in her gut and can't get used to any normal food. So they're, they're very confused bacteria. They don't really know how to keep breaking down these, these challenging foodstuffs. So it, it, she produces these disgusting gases as a result. Mark's got one final duty, to find out just how hefty Hattie is. OK, so bearing in mind a normal adult female beagle should weigh about roughly 12 kilos, um, Hattie is weighing in at about 27 kilos today, over double what she should be. That is extremely bad. She's six at the moment. Um, I doubt she'd make it to ten. Oh, my God. Yeah. Time for Victoria to put this hefty hound on a life-saving diet. How many times a day do you feed Hattie? I feed Hattie once a day in the morning before I go to work. OK, and what do you feed her? She has a dried food. We need to change her feeding. Right. I believe that dogs should be fed twice a day. Okay. And the reason I believe this is that if you just feed a dog in the morning, by the evening, your dog is hungry. That makes dogs want to scavenge even more. OK. But it's not just Hattie's feeding routine that needs addressing. She'll steal whatever she can get her canine chops on. Even the girls' lunch boxes aren't dog-proof. Get out. <laughs> Victoria believes that dogs shouldn't be allowed to steal their owner's food and wants the whole family to see that it's their responsibility to help Hattie control her urges. Okay. Look what I have for you. On the table. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Look at that. Do you know what? What? You can't have a single one of these. Oh, oh, and I'm getting eaten. Like no, that's not very nice. Oh, Is this tempting for you? Yeah. yeah. The kind of temptation you're going through now is exactly the kind of temptation that Hattie goes through every day. <laughs> the thing is that when you do go out or you leave your lunch boxes at a place where Hattie can get them, or there's food around, or there's a rubbish bin there, Hattie will get it because she can't help herself. In order to help Hattie not scavenge, all of these tempting foodstuffs, including her food and your human food, have to be kept out of her way. To keep this dieting dog motivated, Victoria has a plan. Mm, mm, mm. Low fat doggy mm. treats. Mm. Oh, oh. The main ingredient pureed liver. Oh. This low fat, nutritious protein has got Hattie salivating already. 
actually doesn't smell that wonderful for us, does it? But do you know what? Remember, oh, Hattie's sense of smell is going to go crazy over this. That's nicely mixed up. Can I help it? Oh, doesn't that look yummy, Mum? Now you put this in a really hot oven for about 20 minutes. Oh, got... There you go. Shut the door. Thank you, touch it. Oh, gosh, doesn't that look good? Oh! Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh. Just this one square. That's Hattie's daily ration. It's 20 weeks into Victoria's weight loss program, and she wants to see who's been healthy eating and who's been cheating. Of Hattie the Beagle, whose monster appetite had given her a monster weight of 27.1 kilos. If Louise and the girls had followed Victoria's orders, she should come in at around 19.73 kilos. Have they stuck to the diet and exercise plan? Let's put her on the scales sure. and see what she weighs. Come on, Hattie. Day. Up you get. Unfortunately, Victoria, we've got a very disappointing 27.4 kilos. Which is heavier than when I weighed her 20 weeks ago. I don't know how she's doing that. She's not going to get fat on absolutely nothing. So have you girls, have you girls nope, been feeding nothing. her? No. Nope. 100% you have never been feeding her? No. Nope. I don't get it. Do you ever give her tidbits other than the training? Presumably she's been going out for lots of exercise. She's been going out, she goes out for a walk once a day, which is about an hour, 40 minutes to an hour. It's not a medical problem. In 20 weeks, medical problems don't really just start up like that. Um, but we will have medical problems very soon. Sadly, her life expectancy is actually shorter than when we, ch when we chatted 20 weeks ago. So something's going wrong somewhere. Victoria needs to shock Louise and the girls into action. There was, a, there was an issue um, regarding animal cruelty, um, where two brothers were in charge of a Labrador and let it get so overweight that the dog actually had to be taken away from them. The brothers went through a whole court case. They were fined and the dog was given back to them under certain criteria that they had to keep the weight loss going. I don't want it to get like that, but believe me, that's the way the law is going. Right. I don't want this to happen to you. Do you feel like you could try again? Definitely. I mean, we haven't given up on her. It's just, um, I don't know, it's just gone a bit haywire. Mm -hmm. And life just gets ahead of you, and then you forget what's really important to you mm -hmm. and to your dog, really. Lecture over. But if they're going to succeed, they've got to stay motivated. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.